This may sound simple, but it is not. What could be so difficult about explaining the hydrogen burning process? Let's find out. If hydrogen and oxygen molecules smash into each other, nothing happens. They cannot form a water molecule. The process is much more complex and involves several stages. Here we see different particles reacting with each other. But if you take a closer look, you will not only see the initial gases and water molecules, but also plenty of other strange particles. These are called radicals. In normal molecules, all electrons sit in pairs, but radicals have unpaired electrons. They want to find a pair for their lonely electron. That makes them ideal for reacting with other particles. Here's how it happens. The reaction begins when an active particle tears a separate atom apart from a hydrogen molecule. A single hydrogen atom has an unpaired electron. Thus, it is a radical. It has so much energy that if it touches an oxygen molecule, it breaks it into two new radicals. One of these radicals is an oxygen atom. Let's follow that atom and see what happens. After a while, this O atom meets an H2 molecule. You might think that an H2O molecule will be formed, but that is not how water molecules are created. Instead, this interaction gives us two new radicals, H and HO. At the next stage, the HO radical meets another hydrogen molecule. It takes one of the hydrogen atoms and finally turns into a water molecule. When the process is complete, we end up with another hydrogen atom, just as when we started, meaning that we have come full circle. The reaction itself is slightly more complex, but in the end, we always end up with water molecules. Let's look at our reaction one more time. To begin the reaction, we only need one active particle. In some steps, however, one radical turns into two. Therefore, the number of radicals can grow like a snowball, quickly involving all nearby molecules in the reaction. This sort of high-speed reaction process and nearly immediate heat production leads to an explosion, like this. Or this. You can make hydrogen at home. All you need is aluminum foil and a drain cleaner. Don't use too much aluminum foil because the reaction produces a lot of heat. The cotton wool piece is useful to prevent reagent drops from entering the balloon. Don't shake the bottle. After a while, there will be a vigorous reaction. Don't remove the balloon until the reaction stops. Let the bottle cool down a bit. It will be quite hot after the reaction. Be careful with hydrogen, as it is highly flammable and even explosive in some conditions. <laughs>